Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to some more NBA 2K23, my league custom team action here with the St. Louis Arch City Basketball Club. And we're off to a rocky start. Two and three on the year so far. We haven't played very many games. We're, we're going to check out the other expansion team, the San Diego Surf, by playing them today. This is another home game, so we're going to see the uh, the blazing yellow uh, uniforms once again. And I'm going to check out the absolute uh, insanity that this game should prove to be because nobody on either team is actually really good. Um, they're just kind of average at best, and it's just going to be, oh, wow, I don't know. I don't know what to say. It's just going to be horrible. So um, let's let's just go at it. You know what I'm saying? Let's see what happens. And we are here in St. Louis, Missouri, for the face-off against the San Diego Surf coming across the country to our home stadium, the Reverb Arena versus the San Diego Arch City. And the tip off is up and St. Louis gets it. <clears throat> Wall throwing it over to Clarkson. Clarkson trying to see what he can do here. Diallo gets it. High block for Isaac. Wall setting the screen. Back pick for Clarkson. And he gets the reverse layup to go. St. Louis up two to nothing here. Looks like we are playing on Halloween by the looks of the scoreboard. Gertzvin, Noel, looking to get a screen. Goes left, goes inside, dumps it off inside to Baisley. Back to Gertzvin, can't get it to drop. Isaac pulls down the board, throws the outlet up to Diallo. Diallo put the moves on. Trying to prove that he deserves millions of dollars a year to play basketball. Isaac launching a long two. Bricks it off the back iron. And Desunmu brings the ball up. Wall stops him in his tracks. Jerzfin, the big man, dribbling the ball. Not a good idea. Typically. Noel dribbling through traffic, getting inside, going up, getting fouled, and one. Clarkson hacks him on the layup, and he still gets it to go. The coach looks unimpressed, as am I. Yep, there you go. And the and one attempt is up and good. San Diego up three to two. It'll be interesting to see if, if we can get a good performance out of anybody from either team. Somebody who stands out. Nobody really has a star player. But the fadeaway jump shot is fixed by Capella on the inside with the putback off the rebound. Trying to get inside. Dribbling, and it's partially blocked. Capella pulls the board down, gets the outlet to Clarkson. Clarkson does not have numbers. He's one before at the moment. Now he gets his teammates up. Trying to get inside. The spinning, turnaround, fade away. Capella gets the rebound again. And Yurtsvin fouls him on the putback. That's two offensive rebounds here in the first quarter for Clint Capella. And the first one is a brick. Not what you're looking for. You know, I just noticed there's no free throw line. <laughs> it's a black line on a black background, and uh, there's no line anymore. It's just not there. I mean, it's there, but it's, you can't see it. 
you might have to you know, try to adjust that. I have to figure out how to adjust that. Going inside, getting double teamed. Getting the re basket anyway, the layup. Very uh, powerful finish there. In traffic. All right. The charge. Chant comes out. Wall swings it to Clarkson at the wing. He launches up a brick, and Baisley comes away with the, the tipped rebound. Dasun Moon trying to put the moves on, get inside, spinning, throwing to Yurtsvin. Baisley has it knocked away, but Yurtsvin gets it back. Yurtsvin trying to put the moves on. Barrett goes inside with the floater, hits it off the rim. The bank is still open here in Reverb Arena this late at night, it appears. Wall. Can they answer back? Tweets it to Clarkson. Back to Diallo at the top. To the left to Isaac. Isaac gets a screen on the right side, drives inside, throws it back to Diallo. Diallo jump shot from about 10, bricks it. Wasn't the best offensive uh, sequence that time. Wow, that was a layup. <laughs> He got that layup over like a guy who's six inches taller than he is, and the guy was like all over him. I think that was Isaac. On defense there. Wall with the long three. Breaks it off the back. San Diego comes back down the court. One inside. The reverse layup. It's a foul from Diallo. I would boo as well if I were in the crowd because that was a horrible foul on a horrible shot. He just plinks it off the back, bottom of the backboard. Make the man hit that shot. To be a six point lead. It is not. It's a five point lead. Nine to four in favor of San Diego. Clarkson gets inside, pulls up quickly, breaks another one. Nothing but brick after brick after brick for St. Louis tonight so far. Powell at the three point line looking for somebody. He's getting a screen on the left side. Takes it, drives into the paint, gets double teamed, but he's fouled by Capella. He's bailed out. He was trapped. Not a great foul. Not what you want. Paisley on the inbound. Yersvin comes out for it. Barrett has space for a shot, does not take it. Basun Mu gets the ball. Shot clock at three. Yurtsvin way outside. He's going to have to chuck this one up. And he plinks it off the iron for a miss. Wall pushes the ball forward. Tries to get around to Sumo. He does. He gets the left-handed layup. He goes coast to coast off the rebound at the other end. Just put on the Jets and Desunmu got roasted alive. Now San Diego, Desunmu with the ball trying to drive left. Gets stopped, but he also... Oh, it's an illegal screen foul. I thought it was a reach-in on Wall. Yurtsman gets two quick fouls. He's subbed out for Powell on the other end. That's going to be confusing. Powell on both sides. Or are there two Powells on the same team? Now I forgot who's on St. Louis. What's going on here? I thought there was already a Powell in, in the game. San Diego, wall inside, got the back door cut and the layup. Leaves down to one, the ball just rolls to midcourt before anybody even touches it to get the inbound. Noel, okay, so Noel and Powell. Okay, that's what was confusing me. Baisley with the ball, right side, trying to dribble inside, gets past his man, the little delayed floater, and Capella gets the rebound. Wall is pushing it up. For St. Louis, throw it inside to Diallo. He gets the bucket and the foul. He's going to the line. 
for a potential three-point play. And we have a couple of substitutions for San Diego. Desunmu moves to shooting guard, and Alvarado comes in at point guard, and the free throw is good on the three-point opportunity. Timeout, timeout. Timeout, San Diego. They got to talk it over. All right, San Diego with the inbound pass. 19 on the shot clock. Alvarado with the ball on the inbounds. Over to Desunmu. Baisley gets the... And Alvarado with the cut. The spin in, the tra in traffic and the rejection. San Diego gets a rebound, but Powell cannot finish at the rim. Clarkson coming back for San Diego. St. Louis almost loses the handle. Gets around his man and jams it home for the big facial. Clarkson almost lost it, gets it back, puts the moves on, and gets the jam. Alvarado spinning inside, throwing it back out to Desunmu. Gets a screen on the left side and loses the handle. Diallo tries to get the ball. He does. Well, I don't know if that was a change of possession or not, but he, he had the ball for a second. Looks like Kevin Love and... Russell Westbrook are coming in for Arch City. Here's the rejection down low. A couple minutes, or maybe a minute ago. We got Russ in there. Love in there. Alvarado on the right side for San Diego. Trying to get something done here. Goes it back out to Barrett. There at top of the block to Powell. And the backdoor cut from Alvarado is successful. He gets an easy two. But St. Louis is still up by two now, 13 to 11. With the ball, Wall's coming up. Wings it over to Diallo on the right side. Back up to Williams. Over to Westbrook on the left side now. Loves calling for the ball in the post up, but Diallo gets it. The swing pass. He's in the paint. He's down low. He's shooting. He's getting fouled, and he's not making the shot. He will go to the line for two. Right, there's one successful free throw. Very good. And the second free throw is off the mark as well. So we're going to sim ahead after this play. And we'll see what the second quarter looks like here. The, re the brick on the layup. Love gets the rebound. And we're going to sim ahead, folks. All right, we are back. Five minutes to go in the second. We have uh, massively outscored them in the second quarter. It's 42 to 25 in favor of St. Louis. Diallo with the ball. I think that's Diallo. Inside to Tillman. He's got a very he's got a huge mismatch. Gets in there with the left-handed little floating baby hook. That is amazing, but he had nobody to defend him. And for St. Louis, Iguodala's in the game. Richardson in there as well with the ball now on the left side. Swings it around to Flynn. Flynn's going to launch a three. Breaks it. San Diego is 49 rebounds per game this season as a team. Flynn... Malachi Flynn getting the little uh, half spin move to work for him inside. Martin at the top. Throws it inside the backdoor cut for Dosunmu. He gets a nice little reverse layup there. Williams throws it to the right side to Malachi. Iguodala gets it back at the top. Looking for something to happen. 
Kevin Love's on the move. He's the only one that's on the move. Malachi Flynn with the ball. I'm loving saying this guy's first name once I remember what it was. He's just going to have to chuck it up with the shot clock expiring. Throws up a brick. Kevin Love gets the offensive rebound. Goes up for it. Gets the putback. 46-29 now in the second quarter. 3.14 to go until halftime. Malachi on the defense. Throws it inside. There's a foul, but no basket. Kevin Love's second personal. Second personal foul. 15 foul. Looking for free throws here. Going to get two. Xavier Tillman. Taking two shots. And he absolutely bricks the first free throw. Let's see if Tillman can go one for two here at the line this time around. And he will not. He goes 0 for two. Zero percent. And Barton getting inside. Barrett fouls him. This is going to be more free throws, this time for St. Louis. At the line for your home team, Will Barton. Taking Barton. <laughs> he knew that was off when it left his hand, and uh, so he just kind of staggered towards it. It's fine. It's okay. Uh, second one, he goes 0 for 2 as well. Barrett throws up a brick. Malachi Flynn with the rebound. Gets it up to Barton with the outlet pass. He's trying to put the moves on, but he loses the ball. Tillman comes up with it for San Diego. He gets it to Noel. He cooks Flynn alive and pulls up for this jumper, but misses the shot and gets the rebound back and is fouled by Malachi Flynn. First personal foul. At the line for the surf. Jalen Noel, one shot. One shot, one shot. Noel gets the free throw to drop, 46 to 32. It's a 14 point game here, just in case you cannot do math. Much like Malachi Flynn, uh, our little Amish boy, we're going to call him. Love comes around for the three and breaks it, but Capella is there with the putback, but the foul is called. Fourth personal foul. Fourth team foul. Looking at more free throws. This has been a free throw bonanza for both teams here today. Looks like Alvarado's going to come back in for San Diego. See if he can get the second one to go as well as the first. He can. Alvarado's going to bring the ball up for San Diego. Looking around. Gets it to Noel. Not much movement on the offense. Noel has nobody to pass it to, but he swings it to Alvarado, who comes off the screen, throws up a three, but misses. Capella gets the rebound. Outlet to Richardson. Off to the side in the corner. Barton for three. It's good. The first three I think we've seen drop today. I could be wrong about that. I was wrong in the first game when I thought the fourth quarter was like the first three we saw go in. The first quarter had a couple. But that's the first one I can remember right now. Tillman on the inside gets the layup. The free layup is missed. Can you believe it, folks? This man makes millions and millions of dollars to play professional basketball. And that is what he gives you. Cut this man from the team immediately. Capella gets the offensive board, throws it back up, and it's good. You see, that is a harder shot than the free throw that was bricked on the other end. We have a timeout. All right. 
Malachi has been subbed out for John Wall, the starter. Coming back in. San Diego with the ball. Tillman on the left side, trying to put the moves on at the top of the block. Capella's having none of it. Gets it back out to Noel. Puts a, puts a double spin move on. Pulls up. Breaks it off the back iron. Kevin Love comes down with it. Out to Wall. Throws it up to Barton. He had a man inside. Wide open for a second. Did not see him. Capella swings it around to Richardson. Gets it to Barton in the middle. So goes to the right side with the little floating layup. Finger roll thing. Can't get it to go, but gets his own rebound and throws it in for two. 55 to 32. It's a 23-point lead now. How did that happen? I didn't even notice it had gotten that out of control. Alvarado. Screen on the left side. Pulls up for a long deuce. And he gets it to go. Somebody actually hit a shot. I can't believe it. Wall. Trying to get the last shot of the quarter. Gets fouled and won. And he is going crazy after that play. He's lost his mind. Someone get this man some decaf Gatorade. And that free throw is going to push St. Louis's lead at halftime, 58 to 34. 24 points, the differential. That is the look of a man who is down 24 points at halftime. John Wall, 10 points, three rebounds, only one assist. He's not very uh, much for passing, but he is. Very much for going crazy after a, an and one play at the end of the half. The soon move for San Diego getting a screen on the right. Nope, he's not getting a screen. Yurtsman comes up and gets the handoff. Swings it to the left for Noel. The soon move gets the ball back. He's, he steps back into a three, covered, and bricks it. Isaac. With the rebound for St. Louis. Brings the ball up. Gets it to Wall. Back to Clarkson who catches and fires and hits a three. My God. What is happening? There's a three in response, but it is a brick for Isaac on the rebound. Isaac trying to put the moves on. The big man gets some gets some jukes in and just drives it in easy as you like for a nice little clean. That's his first that's his first bucket of the game, actually. Little layup. He was de bound to determine to get on the scoreboard. San Diego gets a screen on the right side, going into the paint. Can't get anything done, but there is a reach-in foul on Isaac, so he. Makes the good play on one end and then botches it all up on the other immediately. What a boneheaded move. San Diego, 14 on the shot clock. Inbounds the ball to Yurtsman. Brings it over to Noel in the middle of the court. Noel throws it to Desunmu. Io Desumu gets it knocked away. Wall just picks his pocket clean, brings it coast to coast with the tomahawk jam. There is the slam cam for John Wall. Beef in the night. 65 to 34 now. By the way, that's a 31 point lead. Um, and Isaac just steps in the passing lane, picks their pocket, goes up, gets fouled, and won. This game is over, ladies and gentlemen. San Diego is completely outclassed here. I thought, well, this would be a pretty decent 
First team foul. Competitive game here between the two expansion teams because all of our players suck. But, you know, one team clearly has the better sucky players. That's all we can say about that. Let's go ahead and sim forward a little bit after this play. See what the fourth quarter looks like, if, if anything. It might not even be worth watching. Rebound to Diallo. We're going to sim ahead. Uh, well, we'll see what Wall can get done here. Oh, he gets hacked trying to go in. Just under two minutes to go in the in the game. Regulation 125 to 85 is the score line. That's right. It's a 40 point lead for St. Louis over San Diego. Uh, so it's garbage time. They just they've got all the uh, backups in. There's no chance in hell of this game ending any other way than a St. Louis victory. San Diego has been completely outclassed. And is that wall still in the game? It is. He's fouled on the layup. Why is he still in the game? Take this man out and give him a break. It's a blowout. Two shots. 127 to go. In regulation. Wall's free throw is good. Wholesale substitutions for for San Diego and for St. Louis. Finally, they put the the backups in. If Wall was at the free throw line, he can't come out. He gets moved to shooting guard, and Malachi Flynn comes in at the point. The crowd is dead. They, they, I mean, at this point, most of the people here would have left the arena by now. Okay, the, the, the arena would look pretty empty at this point in real life. This is a complete and utter annihilation. And everybody knows what the outcome is going to be. They would have been heading to the car, get ahead of the traffic if they can. Flynn launches and hits a three just to rub salt into the wound. Malachi hits from deep. Can they answer back before regulation, before the shot clock expires? Ten seconds to go. We're on the right side. No, nothing happening. Loses the handle. Has to chuck up a weird shot here. The spinning fade away. Can't get it to go. This man is not Michael Jordan. It's not going to happen like that. Richardson over to Malachi. This game is a wrap, folks. Are they really doing it? If, it's, if you're happy and you know it, clap your hands, chant. My God, what is what is Malachi Flynn at the buzzer in the regulation? Chucks up a three. And drills it. Who is this? Malachi. Take it easy out there. 133 to 85. It's an absolute annihilation. So John Wall put up 28 points, four rebounds, eight assists, three steals, a block, and only one turnover. Very good. He had a 43 plus minus in this game. 43. Okay. Uh, very crazy. Diallo, 28 points. Four steals. Very nice. Clarkson puts up 20. Love had a double-double off the bench. Ex excellent work there. 11 and 10. Flynn had 11. Capella had 12 boards. Two for two from the field. And that's about all we have to talk about. The surf, San Diego, had nobody breaking into the 20s point range. 17 from Noel. 12 from Barrett. Powell had 11. Just a bad night overall. 
So with that win out of the way, we're going to sim ahead quite a bit here. Because I didn't want to do too many games here in the first season. The, these games are not going to be very interesting. They're not going to be very competitive. Uh, let's go ahead and get to the All-Star break. And we'll see what the season looks like at that point. So let's go ahead and sim forward here to February the 16th, right before the All-Star weekend. All right, we have finished the simming through February 16th to the All-Star weekend. Our win-loss is 25 and 33, better than I thought. I mean, we're I figured we'd be in the teens for wins at this point, but hey, it is what it is. Let's see here. Oh, no. Nope. Did not stop to see who the All-Stars were. My bad. I'll make sure to do that next season, but uh, we're going to sim through the all-star break, but next time, let's see, who are we going to face off against here? Maybe we'll do an away game at Chicago or Detroit, one of the two. I don't want to watch the Cavaliers. They're probably going to destroy us, but uh, we could watch the surf again, but we don't want to do that. Let's watch uh, Chicago next time. So thank you so much for tuning in here. We're going to check out St. Louis versus Chicago uh, neighboring teams here. And we'll see what happens. Uh, I'm not expecting much, but it is what it is. Let's check out the team status here. We are... 15 games behind the 76ers. It's not looking good. <laughs> but hey, you know, it is what it is. We got a we got a pretty pretty sucky team there. But, you know, I like our our odds to get a a top 3, top 4 draft pick, and that's pretty much what we're going for right now. We're going to try to get somebody who can be the anchor for our rebuilding phase which we are definitely going to be in. And hopefully we'll see you next time around for the next episode where the St. Louis Arch City Basketball Club, I guess, tries to, um, you know, tries to go for a top draft pick in the offseason. Thanks so much for tuning in. We'll see you next time.